hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I come to you with a tutorial that has been highly requested over on my Instagram um, so I will just show you how I achieved it so first up this is my hair washed no product at all so I'm about to moisturize it and the products that I am going to use are from a brand known as Native Child. So Native Child is a South African brand and it uses shea butter and it's eco-friendly. They were kind enough to send me the whole line. So I got the deep conditioner, shampoo, leave-in conditioner, castor oil and shea butter. But in this video, I am using the leave-in conditioner the castor oil followed by the shea butter now if you know me you know that I absolutely love shea butter I make my own shea butter so this is just a win-win for me I already know it's going to bang so I'm gonna start off with moisturizing my hair my hair's already damp so I'm gonna spray a bit more. So I'll go in with the honey and milk leave-in conditioner. So it's very light, very light, but has some kind of thickness to it as well. I have to always moisturize in sections because my hair needs as much moisture as it can get. So I make sure that I evenly distribute everything. Okay, so it's currently left here white residue. So hopefully it goes away, I'm not sure why. Maybe when I add the castor oil, it will take it away a bit. And it comes with an applicator. I shall apply that. And hopefully it will take away the cast. Okay, so there's a residue. I'm not sure why. Um, but there's a white residue and I am not liking it. Look at that. Don't know why it's doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some coconut oil and I'm sure coconut oil will take away the cast. So I've applied coconut oil and look, it seems like it's gone. <laughs> I love coconut oil, honestly. Every time I try to not use coconut oil, something like this happens. I always try to see if I can style my hair without it, but something always happens and I reach out for it. Whew. So I've gone and moisturized all over. Um, I'm then going to separate it into two in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to try and put a straight line in the middle. So I've gone and done it off camera because parting my hair is literally like a fight. So I had to use the assistance of my mirror. So I am going to clip one side away and then we will deal with the other side. Okay, so spray with water. Whew. 
<laughs> I needed that. So as this is a protective style, I like to go in again to apply more moisturiser just before I actually start to style my hair to make sure that my hair is thoroughly moisturised because I'm going to keep this for a week or two and I will not be able to go back in there to moisturise properly so I need to make sure that every strand is coated in as much moisture as possible well, I'm going to apply a bit of this Millie Organics styling gel this is the only gel that I can use because so it's very soft I'm going to apply a bit of that so not too much just a little and then cross the oil. Apply more water. So basically, I'm just cutting up old tights to hold my hair. So as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure that all the sections of my hair are stretched properly for the banding process just to make sure that it's all smooth and there's no curling upwards involved because that's not the look that we're going for. okay so this is it done and i will go ahead and do this side as well one two three four five one two three four five so i've got five so i'm going to smooth my hair down a bit more Okay, so I've gone and taken it down because as you remember, I had about six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I realized that the original style had four and it looked better. So I've taken it down and I'm doing it as four. Okay, so that is four. So I'm going to spray it again. So now it's time to pin both banded ponytails across each other at the back. This is me trying to hide the bobby pin because I just think it looks better that way so all you can see is just the hair in place just looking cute and no pins in sight. So I've pinned it all down and I'm going to tie it down for the night and then come back in the morning show you how it looks don't forget your water because that is really what sets the style
so a lot of my styles really depends on my satin bonnet my satin bonnet staying on overnight so this is really important for me because if it falls off it means that my hair will not stay flat and set properly or stay neat so i really do whatever i need to do to make sure that it stays I'm just leaving it like this I'm not going to add any um, what do you call it edge control this time so I'm just gonna enjoy it like this and I hope you like it and I shall see you in my next video so until next time peace